Hey, it's Alex with Lover Fighter Writer, and in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, a new feature for the Phrase AI Writer, which is their uh, full draft generator. Um, so this is a tool that Phrase actually introduced a while back, and then they were having some issues with it um, because back then the language model that they were using uh, wasn't quite up to the task. I think they were being pretty ambitious what they were trying to do and uh, just the AI writer wasn't quite there yet. Um, but that was a while ago. I think that was actually before chat GPT came out and became such a big thing. And since then, AI writing has advanced very rapidly because there's so many people using it and putting money into it. Um, and so now just uh, the other day, Phrase released their new uh, full draft generator. And so over here uh, in the Facebook group, this is the phrase Facebook group, and uh, they've got a little post here. So basically it's just saying that um, you can use the AI draft generator to uh, write or to generate a outline for an article or for a piece of content. And then you can either fill in instructions for each section yourself, or you can allow the AI to do it for you and then you can generate a full draft. Um, so here in the phrase dashboard, um, the keyword I'm gonna be working with is uh, storage unit cost. Uh, I think I'm gonna specify storage unit cost in Canada. And that's just something I'm interested in uh, seeing what I can come up with for a separate project that I'm working on right now. Um, so we could just start with a new document, but I'm gonna use the outline builder uh, just to kind of show how that can work into the process. Um, so I'm going to come here to the outline builder and I'm going to set my geo to Canada. And then we'll put in storage unit cost. And uh, so that it's going to generate some keywords here and some related questions. And then I can select the uh, questions or the topics that I want from this list and it's going to add them to the outline. And then once I create a document with that outline, I can add to it and edit it. And then uh, I can generate a draft from the outline. So we've got how much is a storage unit in Ontario? These don't matter too much um, in terms of which ones I, I go with, but we'll just add a few and then say create document. And now I just need to set a few things. And then the first thing we want to do is just hit this let's go button and that's going to uh, scan the search engine results page also known as the SERP and it is going to uh, look through the top 20 ranking pages for this keyword in Canada which is the geo that I selected and so it's going to pull a lot of data about those so I'm going to be able to see like how many backlinks they have and how many words is on each page and what kind of keywords they're using. So it's basically gonna give me all the information that I need to make informed decisions about what kind of content I want to write in order to try to rank for this term. Um, so now we've got that here. And if I click on this little gear, then I can customize which ones I want included. Um, I'm gonna leave them all for now. And then it's recommending that this content should be around 900 words long, 850, 900 words long with about six headers at least one link and about eight images. So that's not usually extremely pr precise, but it's a good starting point. It's a good kind of reference point. Um, and then uh, there's a few different ways that we can approach this, but I think I'm just gonna go to outline. And so here we see the questions that I um, selected in the previous stage in the outline builder. And if I click on instructions right here, then I could go straight through to the, um, the draft generator but I don't want to do that yet. And if I wanted to add a custom header, I can do that right here. Um, so like, for example, I think I know what I want my H1 to be. I think it's going to be something like um, average storage unit cost in Canada 2023. I'm going to save that and then I'll just move it up to the top because it's the H1. I think I'm going to change this one to Let's change this to storage unit cost in Ontario. Save that. Move this one above it. 
And I think I'm gonna make this one an H3. That makes more sense to me. And so I can just continue adding custom headers here, or I can click on this explore headings and it's gonna show me all of the headings from these different ranking pages. Um, so this has got some really important ones because over here we have different types of storage. You can see custom uh, climate controlled storage, uh, outdoor drive up storage, vehicle storage, commercial and business storage. Um, and I think that's all that I want from that. So I've got those over here. So you can see I have a nice kind of article shaping up here where I've got uh, you know my, my, my title and then how much does a storage unit cost per month in Canada and then uh, how much does self-storage cost. So I think I'm actually going to add something in here at the top there. So I'm going to put in uh, types of storage units in Canada. Save that and that'll be an H2. I'm going to move that um, up here. And then we'll have uh, how much does self storage cost. Uh, so I'm just going to change that to um, self storage. Move this one down, and I'm going to change this to storage unit pricing by province. And then I'm going to change these to H3s, and they're all going to be the different types of storage. A lot of clicking here, but it's actually quite quick compared to other ways that I might do this. Um, so that's, that's a pretty good uh, shape of the article so far. Um, I think I'm, I'm just going to go with that for now. Um, it, it's already more headings than the recommendation, but I almost always use more headings than is recommended. Um, but we'll save that. So now that I've got my outline here, uh, I'm going to switch to the My Content tab and I'm going to go to the Instructions. And this is where we're actually going to start generating our draft. Um, so you can see I can either hit Write All Instructions with AI or I can give my own instructions in here. Um, so I think I'm going to do the first two or three myself and then I'll use AI for the rest just so we can see how both parts work. And also because it's really cool to watch the AI do this. Um, so average storage unit cost in Canada 2023. And I'm going to say write a snappy intro about how important storage is for different purposes and where to find it affordably in Canada. That'll be the instructions for the first kind of intro section. Then under this H2, how much does a storage unit cost per month in Canada? Um, we'll say, write a few short paragraphs explaining how storage pricing varies by storage type and geographic location. And then for this one, I'll just say a short preamble for the following list. And um, I think I'm just going to leave those three and then it should. Um, oh, okay. So actually I can, I can click on each button. So now I've, I've provided the instructions for those three. And if I just click write instruction with AI under these ones, then it'll do that for me. So that's what I'm going to do here. Those two, outdoor drive up storage, vehicle storage, and commercial and business storage. And the last H2, so this is actually, it's providing much, much more detailed instructions than what I was doing. Um, but I think I just wanna get through this quickly so that we can just get through this little tutorial and then you can have fun working with this. Um, so that's, that's what it looks like. Now we've got instructions for every heading and now I just need to click generate draft. 
And so I can stop this at any time, but it's just working over here and it's gonna start pumping content into the document right there. Um, it's actually pretty crazy how fast it works. Um, I mean, I, I started using these AI writing tools uh, really like, I guess, over what, two years ago now? Um, and at the time they were still extremely useful, but they were much, much slower and more limited. And uh, now the technology has just advanced so quickly in such a small amount of time because uh, it really blew up when ChatGPT became popular and more and more people started using it. And of course, the more users it has and the more money is being put into it, the more quickly it can advance. Um, all right, so that's done, looks like. And wow, so we got a, um, we got a 2,650 word article. Um, so I think it is being a little bit verbose. It's probably writing more than it needs to in most cases. Um, and I think that's maybe it's partially just because the AI is a little bit overzealous, but also I think it's partially because um, it was writing those really long descriptions. Um, and I think that you can probably instruct it to be shorter because if we, if we remember um, for types of storage units in Canada, I wrote a short preamble for the following list. So I told it to make this section short and it's only two and a half lines. Um, whereas uh, with these ones, I didn't really specify length and they ended up being fairly long. And then uh, with these ones, it wrote its own um, instructions and they're also quite long, especially since it asked it to cover so much stuff. Um, so I think that just by, just by adapting the instructions, you could make it a little bit more concise. Um, so I'm gonna work on that in the future. Uh, but wow, this is, that's crazy. It's got like a very detailed breakdown of uh, different pricing. May or not be, may or may not be entirely accurate. I'm not sure. Um, that is uh, pretty impressive. Um, I'm, I'm really impressed with the updates Phrase has been putting out this year and uh, this one in particular. So that is how you use the uh, the phrase AI draft generator. So I literally just wrote a 2,600 word blog post in like 10 minutes, and it would have taken less time if I hadn't been explaining it and kind of breaking down everything. Um, so if you don't have phrase yet, if you're not using it, I've got an affiliate link for it in the description, and I'll probably put some other links there that you can use to get more resources from me and this YouTube channel uh, or other tools that you might be interested in using. Definitely leave a like and a subscribe if you found this valuable, and I'll catch you in the next video.